For me, uh, this is one of the first business models I've ever seen that was designed right from the ground up, right at the start. It's called Kula Brands, and it's a community business model that we set up to help launch entrepreneurs and inventors and get their products out to market. It's a model where everybody benefits, and we create lifetime royalty income for everyday people that don't normally get access to that kind of income. Introducing Jeff Hoffman, a millionaire before his 26th birthday, he's living proof that when you chase excellence rather than money, success comes and in many forms. He's the reason you can print your boarding pass at a kiosk instead of standing in line. Co-founder of Priceline.com, co-founder of Kula Brands Inc., and founder of multiple startups, he's a widely successful entrepreneur. He's a proven CEO, worldwide motivational speaker, published author, Hollywood film producer, and a producer of a Grammy-winning jazz album. He supports the White House, the U.S. State Department, the United Nations, and foreign governments on economic growth initiatives and entrepreneurship. He also teaches innovation workshops to major corporations on a regular basis. He serves on the boards of companies in the U.S., Europe, South America, Africa, and Asia, supporting entrepreneurs and small businesses in more than 150 countries. He received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the National CEO Council for his contributions to the field of entrepreneurship. And he received the Champion of Entrepreneurship Award from J.P. Morgan Chase, Citibank, and Rising Tide Capital, as well as receiving the George Brown Award for International Cooperation. I used to launch companies for a living, but now when people ask me what I do, I tell them I launch entrepreneurs. My goal here is to help all of you achieve your dreams. Hi, this is Jeff Hoffman, and these are some of my favorite moments talking to entrepreneurs around the world. Entrepreneurship is the shovel you use to dig a path to a brighter future. So that's when I realized that teaching people how to help themselves is all that entrepreneurship really is. It's self-determination, not business. And when it occurred to me that what people want to do is just own their future, then I understood. The power of an idea is that it doesn't care where it came from. A good idea does not care how old you are. It does not care if you are male or female. It does not care what country you came from or what accent you have. A good idea is a good idea and good ideas win. That's the beauty, that's the joy that I wake up with every morning. Being an entrepreneur is every single day you might have a new idea that wins. Entrepreneurs are idea harvesters, right? Entrepreneurs are like farmers. You have to plant the seeds of lots of ideas. You have to water those seeds. You have to nourish them and then harvest them. Some of them grow and some of them don't grow. So entrepreneurs need to continually process ideas. Being told somebody has that and you never will was significant to me. And it began, God started me thinking at like 10, what is the difference between people who achieve excellent success, whatever it is, and everybody else? So I got really curious. I told friends, one day I'm going to drive a Ferrari, and they laughed. And I said, why is that funny? And they're like, Jeff, 0.001% of the population will ever drive that car. So it's never going to be you. And I kept on thinking. Why can't it be me, and what do I have to do to be that person? Not because I want a car, but just because I don't want to be told I can't. Clearly it's achievable, somebody has it. I read something actually that uh, Priceline was one of the first, whatever, 20 companies in U.S. history uh, to go from zero dollars in revenue to a billion dollars in revenue in like two years. You couldn't do that and create value and create jobs literally out of almost thin air. You can now.